Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Before we get started, I would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a good one. So let's get to your reading, Gemini. First up, we have the Ace of Wands, followed then by Major Arcana, the Devil Reversed. Next, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Account of the Star in the upright. Overall energy, <laughs> Gemini, this is the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Looks like this could be the start of something big, fun, and exciting. I know how much Gemini loves excitement. This could be representative of a passionate new relationship for some of you. This could be the beginnings of a passionate new career or the desire to travel or the opportunity to suddenly travel. This can um, represent a wonderful, wonderful new you know, career idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos. Maybe it's involving travel. Maybe some of you want to get into the travel business. Maybe a pilot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below to let us know what it is that's uh, on the agenda for Gemini. So the Ace of Wands, overall energy, something exciting, something big, something fun is beginning this week for you, Gemini. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Capricorn energy, Major Arcana Devil in the reverse position indicating you your willpower will be super strong this week or you will be letting go of some fears. There's a few different things that could be happening here at the beginning of the week for you. For some of you, you're releasing your fears and not allowing fear to stop you from pursuing this new passion, this new idea. For others of you, this could be about sticking to your guns about what it is you want to eradicate from your life. Maybe you have decided that, you know, I don't want this um, this addiction in my life anymore and you're going to be having the willpower to stop it. Um, others of you, uh, this could be about stopping the obsessions, obsessively thinking about something. Gemini's air sign, just like all the air signs, can uh, from time to time get into this loop of non-stop thinking in the head and it can become like compulsive already. So it could be that some of you are releasing that. Maybe something, you know, this new thing that's starting and is so exciting is sort of putting your mind to rest at this point coming into the week and you're finally, you know, letting go of the obsessive thinking. Next card up is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. This is about new beginnings and clarity. It could be for some of you, this is a new way of communicating. Uh, oftentimes the Ace of Swords can represent that. It's like you found a new way to communicate or your communications are just becoming super clear. Maybe because you're not obsessively thinking in too much in your head anymore, you're finding a way to express yourself a lot clearer right now. Go and watch the uh, February monthly for Gemini, <laughs> all about that wild and crazy communication that was going to be coming out from Gemini this month. So it would be interesting to watch, especially if this part is resonating for you. But for others of you, remember this is known as the sort of victory. It could be a victory over, you know, a, a contract situation or even a communication situation. Perhaps you're feeling very victorious. You're very clear. You've made your point. Everybody understands what your point is. It could be that. It could also be a brilliant new idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos. Really nice stuff. You have two aces here. New beginnings for Gemini. Moving towards the weekend, you have some beautiful emotional energy here with the Ten of Cups in the upright position. This is about having that peak emotional experience. It could be, sometimes this will come up when it's, um, you know, it's generally known as a family card. It can be involving the family for some of you. Perhaps you are going to a family dinner, a family reunion, or you're going to be with people who feel like family. 
this sense of love and compassion and understanding and acceptance is really what this energy is all about. It's just feeling really, really good. Now, some of you could be attending, like I said, a wedding or, um, you know, maybe a family get together. It could be like a, an anniversary or a wedding or something, or not a wedding, but a birthday, something that um, would bring families or friends all together to congregate. Sometimes this can come about when we are newly dating somebody and feeling those first, you know, flutterings of, of love. And we bring this person to meet our family and that per and the family just sort of takes to the person as well. And you kind of feel like my heart is complete. I've got all my loved ones surrounding me. They all love each other and everything is good in this moment. <laughs> Last card up is the uh, Aquarius energy star in the upright position. This is all about feeling hopeful. Well, after a week like this, why wouldn't you be feeling hopeful? Just saying. Um, this is really, really nice energy. Wish upon a star, Gemini. You just might have it materialize for you. Perhaps next week or over the weekend or something. The star is about feeling hopeful and optimistic. Sometimes we can't put our finger on it. Maybe there's nothing in the outer world that we can say that this is why I feel good or this is why I have uh, hope and optimism. It's just something, it's an inner knowing. It's something you feel inside of you. So looks like an amazing, amazing week for you, Gemini. I can't wait to hear the comments in the comment section below. Please do share with us um, anything that could resonate here or after, after the week plays out, let me know what happens here. Looks like a very, very interesting week for you. The star card is also very healing energy too. So... Whatever's going on looks like a pretty cool week for you, Gemini. I want to thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. And um, yeah, if the reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye for now.